Hello book people, PT here. Today I want to talk about three unconventional sports books. Uh, now I'm not talking about your, your Friday Night Lights kind of books, your books that, are, that follow a, a team uh, of conventional sports figures as they strive for uh, a championship or something. I'm talking about three books that in three different ways are kind of unconventional in the way they look at sports. The first one is a series of, of uh, novels by Scott Sigler. They're the Galactic Football League uh, novels is the series. The first one is The Rookie. And these are great books, especially if you are a football fan. Um, I think even if you're not, you'd probably enjoy them. But it's, it's kind of cool. It takes place in a almost Star Warsian type of future um, with a lot of different alien creatures. And it's uh, they're playing American football like we we think of today, but they're playing it with all these different alien races playing. And the different alien races, uh, because of their physiologies, are better at different positions. So you have like one alien race that's like ridiculously fast that are the receivers and the defensive backs and stuff like that. And you have like a huge alien race that are the linemen. Um, a lot of fun. It's a YA series. Um, really fun. Uh, really fun though to kind of watch. The main character is this guy Quentin Barnes who is uh, comes from like a isolated like human planet where he's kind of like racist speciesist speciesist I guess against uh, all, a lot of the other alien races. When the books start, he's really sheltered and always been taught that the like these other alien races are kind of like uh, subhuman and not, not to be respected. And so like part of the story is him growing and and learning. Uh, more about these other alien cultures and also uh, just playing football so it's like a ridiculously fun science fiction football series scott sigler is also uh, pretty famous for putting out his books in podcast form so you can I, I i'm not sure what he has up right now he kind of varies what he has up but at least uh, for a while you could listen to these for free as podcasts so maybe check that out but also the books are uh, are excellent so that's my first pick the rookie by scott sigler Next up, I have Dare Me by Megan Abbott. This is a story about a team of cheerleaders in high school, and uh, it kind of follows them through their cheerleading season. But what makes it unconventional is that it's really kind of a thriller, and it takes the competitiveness of, uh, of the uh, cheering, competitive cheerleading kind of thing, and takes it well beyond the cheerleading arena into the everyday life. The story is this uh, this squad of cheerleaders in this high school gets a new, uh, young, kind of hip, new uh, cheerleading coach, and she's really cool, and they love hanging out with her, and uh, then uh, things, she get, they get a little too involved in her life, maybe, and then some thrillery things start to happen. I won't give away too much there, but I will say that uh, this book has kind of been compared at times to, like, uh, Mean Girls meets Bring It On, and I think that's... Uh, that's certainly an aspect of it, um, but then there's also this thriller thing that takes it kind of takes the books for me to the next level. So it's kind of interesting taking a, a serious look at this this cheerleading culture, uh, the sport of cheerleading, and marrying that to uh, to this kind of thrillerish suspense kind of thing, and it, it works really well. I really enjoyed this book. So that's uh, Dare Me by Megan Abbott. The third and final sort of unconventional sports book I want to talk about is actually a, uh, a comic collection. It's a collection of three um, kind of standalone graphic novels that are tied together, and it is Essex County by Jeff Lemire. So you might know Jeff Lemire from uh, you know, Sweet Tooth or Descender or his recent work at Marvel, um, Animal Man. He's done all kinds of great stuff, Valiant. This was um, before he... He did any of that stuff. This was his earlier work. Um, Essex County is basically this, this, uh, these three stories. I hope everyone's okay. Essex County is kind of these three stories that are tied together that all take place in this uh, Essex County, this small county in, in kind of rural Canada. Um, it's based on the area that Jeff Lemire grew up in. And all the stories, while all the stories aren't, aren't directly about hockey. One of the stories is more directly about hockey than the others. Um, hockey has an important role to play in all of them, and uh, it's really a, a interesting look at, at the way that kind of in, in this particular town, hockey and is really tied into the rest of the culture of the town. These uh, graphic novels are really moving and really great, 
and uh, I highly recommend them. You know, it's not the usual thing we think of from Jeff Lemire now, but it's really a heartfelt um, story if, and, and a very moving one. Uh, so that is Essex County. I think you can pick it up in one paperback volume for uh, like 20 bucks or something. It's pretty thick because it's three graphic novels. So that's, that's my three unconventional kind of sports books. Uh, we had The Rookie by Scott Sigler, Dare Me by Megan Abbott, and Essex County by Jeff Lemire. I'd love to hear if you have any kind of unconventional sports books to recommend, because I like sports and I like reading, so it's a fun combination. Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with another video tomorrow.